On the 23rd of July 2018, a new film was released showing how point cloud surveys are being used to help design changes to Buckingham Palace as part of the resurfacing programme. In particular, it demonstrates how this technology is being used to help design new lifts to make the palace more accessible and more efficient. Point cloud surveying is a way to capture a really detailed map of the building. That in turn allows us to have a level of information that we've never had before. We can then use that information in a smart way to design the resurfacing and alterations that we need to carry out to the palace. Point cloud surveys have been used to map approximately 400 rooms and 515 metres of corridor inside the palace. New lifts will have a number of benefits. Firstly, they will allow the building to be used more efficiently in the delivery of day-to-day -day operations and events. If you really want to understand why we need new lifts, imagine taking something from the kitchen all the way through to a room at the front of the palace. So that's not a very practical route through the principal corridor, the state rooms. In the future, we'll be using the basement route and then up through a new lift to this level. Improving how the palace functions and how the building can be accessed will be two key results of the resurfacing programme, as outlined in the Royal Trustees report. As architects, we're very aware that it's a significant investment of public money. We're consciously using technology such as the point cloud surveys to ensure we get a good return on that investment to design alterations that allow the palace to be more accessible and to function better. Resurfacing will continue throughout the entire palace, starting with high priority works and is due to be completed in 2027. Thank you for watching this video. If you have enjoyed it, then please give it a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to comment and share on social media. Also, hit that notification bell so that you know whenever I upload a new video. So, from me in Shropshire, goodbye.